What up, what up? It's your player partner checking in, 2 Chains. And since we're in the great state of Texas, I decided to get into a little bit of cowboy swag. That's right, a little bit of leather drip, you dig? We're gonna link up with a real maverick himself, Mark Cuban, then go deep into the horse culture down here at the Dallas Equestrian Center. What's the total prize when you when you get your W? What is it like, a big old trophy like my man got when he won? A uh, ribbon. A ribbon? A ribbon. So you know you can't do that culture without the proper cowboy boots. We're going to link up with Rock and K for some of those crazy handmade designs. Cowboy boot. That's what we calling this? Yep. And next, we're going to link up with a real legend in the cowboy world, Bowling. Looks yeah, good. this is really nice, man. This is such a great present. And... What's up, buddy? Deucey, baby. I remember that Mr. Ed. <laughs> you know we could not do an episode on cowboy swag and hats without including Erica Badu. We will have Stetson here to show us some of their chic classics. I wish the people at home could feel it. They can for 5000 ah, well, That's what she said. This is the most expensivest Wild Wild West. Hey, how you doing? Doing well. How about yourself? I'm two chains. Nice to meet you, hey, David Mark. Sanderson. Nice Welcome to, to Dallas Equestrian Center. We're glad to have you all. I'm happy to be here, man. I heard a lot about this place. Well, I'm glad that you made it to Dallas. I see you met one of our local celebrities and brought him along with you. Yeah, the biggest celeb in the city. <laughs> yeah, man. whatever. It's yeah. a big day for us at Dallas Equestrian Center. We got two chains and three commas. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> I like hey, that. Yeah, look at this. Gotta give him some exercise. So the Horse Gym 2000, it's a treadmill. It's about 40 grand. The Horse Gym 2000. It inclines, declines, helps with rehab. Would you have invested in this if it would have came your way? David is seeking $40,000 for 100% of Equestrian Center. Um, I'm not smart enough about horses, but seeing it, it's a great yeah. idea. Tell me about the Dallas Equestrian Center. It's a, it's a huge facility. We are nine acres here in downtown Dallas. Okay. We've got 118 horses here. We have the lesson program does about 200 lessons a week. Uh, how much are the lessons here? Lessons are $100 a piece. Most of the kids that are in our sport, they're gonna buy a horse or two, and they're gonna take at least three or four lessons a week. What? $100 a piece. <laughs> yeah. I can't even afford that. And then you have Horses here for sale or No, we come do here? buying, selling, leasing. When you're starting out, you just want something safe. Your kids can come ride, have some fun. Right. And as you go up in levels, you're looking for more performance, that they jump better, that they move better. Like this horse here is a hundred thousand dollars. Damn. A really <laughs> nice horse. I mean it's beautiful. He's actually not that pretty. I'm lonely when it's warm in California. I think he's pretty because I like his, his markings. He has white socks on the opposite, opposite feet. Yeah. It's kind of like a Versace look, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's stylish. 100000 is kind of the entry level. I mean, you can spend two fifty, five hundred, a million. A million dollars on a horse? Like, happy birthday, uh, <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> I already know what I'm going to hear when my kids watch this episode. I'm in trouble. What's this horse name? We got to give him a name. Eamon. 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 Give Eamon a shout out. Eamon. <laughs> so when you talk about getting a $100,000 horse, it's just a horse, correct? That's just the horse. That does include shipping and going to horse shows and hotels and all the equipment. First, we start off with a tack trunk. We put all the equipment in. OK, ta tactical stuff. That's fancy. So you put all your stuff in here for all the horses and everything. You know, you're talking about saddles that are, you know, four to $6,000 a piece, brushes and all that. And of course, you know, they got cell phone chargers and all that stuff for the kids. So <laughs> this whole chest is about 7,500? Right. Do people fly their horses? If you're going more than four hours, we'll fly the horse. Like, if we're going to California, but how do you fly, fly them? them? They ship them FedEx. They actually have. <laughs> They've actually converted some 727, 74, and actually gut them out and they use cargo horses. and they ship horses. Is it yeah. door to door? <laughs> well, it's, it's yeah, it's. We're going to sign for them. Horse hotels, like they so. have layover barns and all this. Layover barns. Layover barns. So. barns. I'm, right? I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> well, you're talking about million dollar horses you're shipping from Europe for Olympic teams and all that. They're going to have shipping layover from courtes. Europe? They have passports for horses, actually. I'm done. <laughs> Eamon has a passport. Eamon has a passport. 
What else you got from me, man? Let's go watch some horses jump around. So this is Quanto, or hashtag, a show horse here. This girl rides five days a week. She'll travel the country 30, 35 weeks a year, horse showing. These are their personal horses? Yeah. So that's Eamon that was on the treadmill earlier, our friend Eamon. He's good and warmed up He's now. good and warmed up and ready to go. And so what does a horse show consist of? Like, how do you win? So there's judges, and they'll be judging form and function, how well they jump, how well they execute the course. like that was a mistake. So they'd count off on for that. OK. Now, do you have to dress like that, or could someone come in and just some cut off jeans so, in an event? In an they, event, like, really yes, they wear a jacket it's and all a, that. It's a whole like, attire, attire right. like equestrian attire. Correct. Correct. What's the total prize when you when you get you a W? What is it like a big old trophy like my man got when he won? Or what do you there get you once Brian, you? Right? Uh, a right. ribbon. A ribbon? A ribbon. There's million dollar Grand Prix and stuff like that. The problem is you're gonna have to have a million dollar horse to compete at that level. Well, yeah, that's why I'm so thinking, right? So this is a loss leader. Like, you're not coming into this sport thinking, okay, I'm, I'm making an investment in my kid, and if they're the best of the best, I'm gonna make my money back and then some. No, um, this is the four-legged boyfriend instead of the two-legged boyfriend that no dad wants to put up with. I'm uh, out. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Cuban is out. With this boot, let me, let me guesstimate. Fifteen. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Two chain. Howard. Nice to meet you, nice Mr. Howard. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. So tell me a little bit about the brand. Well, the brand is all about you. It's, yeah. it's about me making you something special. OK. Rocking K? Rocking K. Custom okay. leather. Out of Stevensville, Montana. Montana. Up north. What's it like in Montana? It's cold. Yeah. And so what kind of skin do you use when you're preparing these things? Like these. These are small. Now, these are a little small for you, but these are saltwater crocodile. Saltwater crocodile. Not just your average crocodile, but saltwater crocodile. Not the little nasty one coming out the swamp. Uh, nope. Or, would, would boots like this be unisex, or these would be like? No, these are unisex. That's what I thought. Definitely unisex. What's your What's your waiting time? Usually about a year. What? Yeah, about a year. Man, I'm gonna forget. Take this belt. Okay. So right. it's all about being handmade, and it's it's there's no machinery used. It's all about the passion I put into it. And what is this made out of? Oh, uh, the ends are saltwater crocodile. Oh, wow. And it's hand tooled cowhide. Mm -hmm. It's snakeskin in the background, the silver you see. And then those are uh, real high quality white diamonds you see on there. Yeah, the best diamonds, you the can tell. The best diamonds. The best diamonds. What would a belt like this cost me? That's $58,000. Shit. Y'all got some nice belts, man. Now, what would this beautiful unisex, all black, saltwater alligator, cowboy boot, that's what we calling this? Yep. What would this cost? That's 28000 Shit. Tell me about this boot. The bottom is ostrich. The bottom, OK. The uh, tops are tool cowhide yes. with crushed opal mixed into the finish. Cro crushed opal? Crushed opal. What is that? Uh, opal's from Australia. Of course. Yeah, yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah, of course. And it gives it that little shiny look when you. Gives it that, that sparkle, that, that fire. That sparkle, yeah. Yeah. And so what would this boot be? What would this boot? Let me let me guesstimate. Okay. Fifteen thousand. Eighteen. For you, it'll be fifteen. I'm getting good at this stuff. <laughs> so talk to me about some of your most expensive pieces. I did a, a pair of boots a few years ago for a gentleman. You might say he's an entrepreneur down in Mexico. And uh, into construction. He's not allowed back in the U.S. So we. I wasn't able to get those back. You're, you're trying to get them back so I can see them? Absolutely. And he can't come over here? No, he's not allowed back in the US anymore. Cool cat. 
cool cat. Man, shout out to you. You know who you are, man. Much respect. Tell me a little bit about the booth. So these... Let's describe it so the viewers can actually see it. Give them, a, give them a good visual. Close your eyes. These boots came about. He, he wanted something special. Special. Something unique, something no one had ever done before. Never. I always think of him as kind of being a phantom, as a ghost. OK, the, 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 type, the way he moves. Yeah. So I did this pair of boots, and I called them the phantom. And they looked like they float. Black and smoke colors, and grays. And they're trimmed with saltwater crocodile and 18 karat white gold flower centers. There's over 200 flowers on the boots. Oh, he go Bigfoot. Oh, yeah, he's a big boy. Big boy. Big boy. Bigfoot. Yeah. How long did it take you to make them, man? I had about 800 hours into them. But how much did he pay for that shoe? He paid $109,000 for those boots. Ooh. OK, big boy. Big boy. Well, man, I, I tell you, it was, it was an honor being here with you, man, because it seems like you know a few important people that know good Good stuff when they see it. They good branding and, and great quality. Yeah, that's right, when they see it. Two chains. I'm the man. You're not. Sorry to hear that. Most expensive Wild Wild West. You want some? Check out Rock and K. What's the best way to get some of the product? Online. Online. What's, what's, how did It's uh, rockingkcustomleather.com. One more time for the ones in the back. Rocking K Custom. Two chains. I'm the man. True. Mind a clip. Like I said, whatever you want on it, we can. Going on now. Hey man, how you doing? Hey, I'm Two Chains. Daniel from the Bowling Company. Nice to meet you, Mr. Daniel. What's going on today? Not too much. Brought some products here for you to see. And you know I'm ready for this, man. You know, this type of belt buckle has became very popular in our industry. Absolutely. And what's amazing is here we are in South Fork. And Dallas was filmed here, that famous television show. Oh, man. And we actually made the belt buckle for JR and his watch band for his Rolex. Really? So we have a lot of rich history. We've been around since 1920. Made stuff for the Lone Ranger, Hopalong Cassidy, wow. John Wayne. Wow. You name it, they made it. So tell me a little something about your pieces here. The feature piece we brought is actually seventy-five thousand dollars. Well, damn, Daniel, that was you just. You ain't, I uh, saw the diamonds you got on. Well, you didn't ease into it at all, <laughs> Daniel. You just kind of shoved it in. Seventy-five thousand, bro. Seventy-five thousand. It's got seven carats. It's made out of solid gold. It's got white gold on the back, rose gold highlights, fourteen carat yellow gold. And then we pavade the entire thing. Man, this is a this is a belt for for the lifetime, right? Exactly. Who needs another belt if you get this? It's your size too. No. Yes, sir. Let's see. Yeah, it is. And and a little fun fact about that particular buckle. You were talking about the Lone Ranger. The original blank. So a lot of our guys did that from 'Cause you put this belt on, you can't hear what nobody talking about. No worries. Looks yeah, good. this is really nice, man. This is such a great present, thing. I appreciate <laughs> this, man. This really, Absolutely. Thanks for good, having me out. You meet good people, you know, every day. You know, you just don't meet people that like here. You know, here's a seventy-five thousand dollar belt. What's next for the company? So. What we're gonna do is we're working on a line of our 100th anniversary belt buckles. To give you a good example of this is on this particular piece, the mountains in the background, that's actually all hammered out by hand across the back. That right there. Exactly. That piece. How long does it take to actually get the belt? If I have an idea or a concept and I give it to you, I ship it to you, you know, what's the what's the wait time? The wait time is usually a month for custom pieces. Okay. We can do two weeks if we have to for you. I mean, I'd have it ready before you got on the plane. Okay, buddy. I want one of these belts. I'm very, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very interested. Here's my card. Okay. okay. And we also make card holders, so you know. Uh, you selling everything. Hey, it's what I'm here for. What's next? You know, you're in, you're in text. You get a money clip. Uh -huh. We can monogram it. I should have a money clip. You need one, yeah. Wallets are obsolete because this thing is a lifetime warranty. It holds credit cards and money. And all you gotta do is, as long as you slide it on from the side, it'll it'll never give out on you. I actually made I made a twenty thousand dollar money clip earlier uh, last year. 
with no money in it, just got the clip. It's like a gift to the Magi kind of thing. You spend all your money on the money clip, and then you'll get it back. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. One second. Okay. It's money clip. Like I said, whatever you want on it, we can customize it. Here's my card. Okay. Mm, close to 30 right there, probably. $30,000. So what I can do for you is I can make you a solid, based on what you're wearing, mm -hmm. we can do a solid white gold money clip. White gold money clip. It's going to be a, what we call a Vegas spin. I want this. I want it. So you go in there with a, a wad of cash in Vegas, and hopefully you leave with more, but you never know. No, I am. But at least you got that money clip. Perfect. You already know what this is. This is the most expensive Wild Wild West. Who knew you can buy a belt for almost 200,000 bucks or a money clip for 20,000 and not have one dollar in it? <laughs> Credit card. For real, yeah. <laughs> this is two chains. Most expensive is Wild Wild West. Pew, pew. That's a cut. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, man. For Absolutely. Real. I want a belt for real. I can't afford it, though. We're off mic and everything, right? We're off mic, right? Uh, turn off the mic. Yeah, we done. Uh, yeah, we done.